Ôi. Raju was secretly filming me as I daydreamed about climbing Amma Tabla. It's a long shot, but stranger things can happen. I mean, who would have thought that the two amateur hikers could make it this far? In our previous episode, we saw how mountains were surprising us after reaching Dingboche. This episode will take us to Lopuche. But before that, let's acclimatize. We had a late start today for a change. Shall we eat? Ate our breakfast and went for a short hike to Nangkachan Peak. The morning was different from the previous foggy and cloudy one. Having lost the acclimatization day at Namche Bazaar, it was important for us to acclimatize at Dingboche before we ascended further. We had our faces swollen due to the altitude. But it was okay. Amro cha, tik cha. Tapai lai kasto cha. Ana bhagyo bhara ra. Ike ukale dum sahara. Acha bhai acha sapana. Today, the target was to trek 5,500 meters, but our guide said that we didn't need to scale it all the way, as our primary goal was to acclimatize, not to conquer the mountain. Our hotel is which one? Green wala red thing. Ah. The village started to look small and beautiful from the top. The views were getting better with the clear sky. As we ascended, it started to breeze. Initially, it felt good. After a while, Shine complained about a headache. Our guide recommended we return, and so did we. Now it was time for lunch. We felt the appetite, but not for solid food as such. The effect of Dimox pills, perhaps. मेरा वाला तो पहले सबसे अच्छा है। शायन हैड अ थुक्पा अगेन एंड आई हैड अ शरपास टू। अच्छा है क्या शरपास टू? गुड थुक्पा। थुक्पा। लेटर, वी हैड मोमो फॉर आर डिनर। वी वर ग्रेजुअली लूजिंग आवर टेस्ट, बट द हॉट स्पाइसी चटनी सर्व्ड विद द मोमो केम टू द रेस्क्यू। At Dingboche, internet options were limited and pricey, with poor reception. We rented it out for the rooms, but it never worked. It worked only in the dining area. Anyway, it didn't harm us. After dinner, we slid into our sleeping bags, ready to recharge for the next morning's adventure. So today we were trekking to Low Voce, which is at a height of 4,910 meters and at a distance of 11 to 12 kilometers from Dingboche. Careful! It was white all around and colder than usual. Yo. 
Overnight snowfall had blanketed the area. We were sure the temperature was likely below zero, but we had no means to measure. Keep drinking water. It was sunny. The sky was clear and blue, and it looked absolutely stunning. This was the dream trek of my life. I had seen stunning scenery in photos, videos and movies before, but the first-hand experience has no comparison. It was as if I had stepped into a postcard. We were walking through a valley surrounded by snow-clad mountains. I climbed rocks, posed and clicked away determined to capture every moment. I got carried away with the excitement and may have ignored Jana until she asked for help. One thumbs up. Let's see. Give me a video. We paused for a while and then we continued. After lunch, there was a steep ascent. To my surprise, Chana did pretty well, and in no time, we were almost at the top. Chalo. We were not fast, neither were we slow, but we were steady. It boosted my confidence in our ability to crack trekking at higher altitudes. Then, suddenly, we witnessed our first ever avalanche. From a safe distance, it was breathtaking. Yet, I couldn't help but feel grateful for our fortunate positioning, far from the potentially deadly force. We reached the Tukla Pass, also known as the Everest Memorial, a tribute to those who lost their lives attempting to conquer the mighty Everest. Not a very pleasant feeling to see those stone memorials. But then you realize seeing those souls now rest where they once aspired to stand. Yes. Yeah. We spent some time there to rest. Then we trekked for another 30 minutes or so through dry lands that were mostly flat to reach our destination of the day, Lobuj. Hey. 